All right, so let's go into the Q and A. If anyone wants to, you know, speak, uh, come up, come up and either make a comment or ask a question. Feel free to raise your hand in the, the town hall uh, stage, and we can bring you up. If you have any actual questions, you can just post questions, and then the question or question, and then the question itself in meeting text channel, and we can get to the question. I don't know if we have any actual questions at the moment because people are still uh, coming off. Yeah, we've not had any. Yeah, now's the time for questions, especially uh, if you have any. Uh, when is the online Christmas party? I don't know. I, I don't know if we're actually doing one. I, uh, I'm not against doing a Christmas party. Maybe that's a maybe that's a thought for Kura. Is Kura in the chat? Did a good job with that Halloween party, Kura. When is the Rel platoon? That's a good question. I think we're. I think the last we heard from Rel made us think that he he wants the Rel platoon to be coinciding with Osher's launch. Yeah, yeah, like what Castar said. Uh, he, <laughs> may, I think I think he's going to run with us around when Osher is released. Come on, people. I know you got some questions. We, we, we announced a big competition. We got some changes going on. We're going into a really busy month. Think of some questions. We got 44, 44 people in here. Goalkeeper says, do we have to reserve a spot for the Rel Platoon? Uh, I, don't, I don't believe so. We'll, we'll know for sure when the time comes, uh, <clears throat> when, when we're closer to time. We might do sign-ups to make sure that... It's definitely not going to be public. Uh, it's going to be SKL only in the Platoon. I know that much. Whether or not we're going to try to rotate some people in and out is going to be a question of just how many people we have on in any given day. But Rel is definitely going to need some squad leads. So uh, we're, we're probably going to get the squad leads prepped and then the actual people filling the platoon. I'm not super worried about it. Yeah, I, I agree, Kastar. When are we, when are we going to get that uh, Kastar ASMR stream? Give me time. Give me time. <laughs> Cast her officially retires from the Legion to be an ASMR streamer. Bet. Uh, Kasami sixty six says, "Aren't we giving donators first dibs?" I believe so. I, I I'm not completely on on like I don't have uh, my fingers on the pulse of that situation. I, I believe that that is going to be the case that donators will get first dibs into the platoon, but we have a a, a ton of donators, so we'll have to see. Yeah, probably donators first in, as well as just like trusted people in general, because obviously we don't want anybody, you know, mic spamming up Rel. Um, and then, of course, we'll have other platoons running, you know, in tandem. Um, yeah. And there'll be somebody in the platoon that's also going to be streaming Blade or, or somebody else. So it'll be it'll be listenable. Yeah, I would just advise people that, uh, you know, who people who are here to just be as responsible as you can if you do get into the Rel platoon. Uh, you know, other than calm discipline and stuff, which I would hope would be obvious, but like, eh, don't run. If you if you don't have to run with him the whole time, then maybe give up your spot for someone else uh, after a while. I I plan to hang out in the platoon for a little bit, but then I'll just go off and join the other platoon just to give my slot to someone else. So, let's be responsible with your time and let's uh endeavor to make it as enjoyable an experience as possible for you know Rel and as many SKL members as we can get in there. Uh, not Sunder or King says, can we make some rules to follow for the platoon, or is that not, or has that been done already? I think uh, Orby and me, and, and when we hopefully get an actual solid date from Rao, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out the specifics then. But it, rest assured, it'll be an organized thing. I mean, or, Orby's always good about that stuff. He even gets that stuff organized on the fly. So yeah. with plenty or, of planning, it'll be more. just fine. Yeah, Orby knows more about it than we do, probably, because he's the one who's been talking most of them. But uh, we're definitely going to stack the platoon with uh, as many you know calming people as possible. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tayashi. I don't want any to go away. So long as you're not drunk. 
See, why you gotta try and start a fight? <laughs> we don't need Uncle Uber to return. Yeah. That's not a talk I want to have again. Alright, any other questions, comments? <laughs> Anyone wants to come up and speak, feel free. We're here as long as we need to be. Otherwise, we'll uh, be wrapping up when there's no more uh, relevant conversation. I'll All tell right. you what. I'll tell you what, Games. If you can get on the microphone and make people laugh, absolutely. That's all you, buddy. Yeah, never. That's that is exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> all he has to do is find that book that he got slaying around. Kurt asks, what are you most excited for for Content Smash? Uh, well, I kind of envisioned it as a writing competition, so I'm, I'm looking forward to see if there's going to be any good poems or stories. Hello. Oh, oh hey, Mike. Hello. I just wanted to come up here, since it's kind of an open forum, and if yeah. anyone in the audience ever wants to do any armor until our Armor Academy goes online, which will be great. Um... I am willing to offer any information I have that may help you out until we formalize the academy. So just throwing that out there. I know I've had a lot of people over the last couple of weeks ask me stuff, questions. Some people watch me. But if anyone hasn't reached out yet or wants to, I will help you out as best I can and share whatever knowledge I can share. Really all I wanted to say. Yeah, sounds good. Yoink. Yeah, if anyone's uh, if anyone's interested in helping out with the uh, Armor Academy or just helping lead Armor, definitely reach out either to me or Mike. And I can I can get you into the Armor Academy team, and he can just coordinate with you in learning Armor or helping lead Armor. Uh, in regards to HC's comment that everyone was reacting to, uh, there is entry <laughs> guidelines and judging criteria for a reason, so anything inappropriate will uh, be immediately disqualified. Yeah, Bliss, uh, go ahead and reach out to Mike then. He's a good dude. I pinned another question. Whoa, well, where are we at? Uh, Medical Kill VS. Is the medic charge tactic allowed in public platoons? We pretty much allow anything in public platoons. It really just depends on the squad leader, the PL. Uh, I suppose it depends on what you mean specifically by the medic charge tactic. Um, back in Shock Troops, we used to just charge with all medics and all knives if someone if a platoon lead wanted to do that then hell yeah but uh otherwise it's really just kind of up to whoever the platoon or squad lead is yeah basically the guidelines for public platoons is you're pretty much allowed to do anything except for what a drunk tayashi does <laughs> okay. yeah i mean that's kind of the whole point of the of the officer academy and i know a lot of people get <laughs> like uh a lot of people get held up in the thought that we like are try trying to teach people to be sweaty and stuff like that. And that is nice, like you being able to win an alert or whatever. But if the main takeaway from anyone in the officer <clears throat> academy is to just learn how to administer and speak what Tater calls soft skills, to be able to just speak to people and to be able to execute whatever they want to do, we don't really care what you're executing. Like as long as... We're just trying to teach you how to to get to keep the platoon together, be nice, uh, how to deal with problem people, yada yada yada, and then whatever you decide to do with your platoon is your business. As long as it's following all the guidelines that we teach. Uh, Bliss is asking a question directly to Tayashi. I don't know. I, I I'm not sure how much of that sto of any of your stories are. Uh, should be he gets discussed. talking to by uh, Uber. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's just say that that information has been redacted for fear of ending up in Uber's yeah. office again. The, this this is being, <laughs> this is being recorded, so we don't want this on your permanent record any more than it already is. I plead the fifth. I'm innocent. I did nothing wrong. <laughs> that was drunk tie. They are two separate people. It's fine. All right, so yeah, Bliss, make sure you DM Mike about the armor stuff and not Thunder King. DM me about getting you into the Armor Academy team. Anyone else? Any other comments or questions? Anyone wants to come up and talk? Goalkeeper is typing. Also, speaking of Armor Academy, we do have Infantry and Air Academies as well. 
Yep. I know that I know the Air Academy is looking for some uh, air instructors. So if anyone's already experienced in air, maybe apply to me or, uh, you know, just apply to me. Angel's kind of busy right now. Yeah, goalkeeper. That usually happens during the town hall. We'll be freeing up. We'll be freeing up everyone once the questions dry out. Let's see. Uh, Mike asks New World. Um, I don't like to be a fade list about this kind of stuff. I'm not saying it can't bounce back or whatever, but the SKL New World uh, leadership has kind of crumbled a bit, and I we really can't realistically expect. Angel to be the head of the Air Academy and active on New World, so I think he's picking the right thing by focusing on the Air Academy because Planet Side is our main game. Um, maybe if New World was more popular in general, we would put more of our energy into, you know, into reviving it. But at the time, or at this time, with the amount of people we have, personnel issues, I think it's probably just going to stay the state that it is unless someone like really vocal and really competent steps up to the fore. Okay, uh, Duty S asks, is Infantry Academy general infantry skills focused or is it class focused? Uh, Poncho and Snag can probably answer that best, but you start off with general infantry skills and then you kind of go into whatever class you want to go into. Yeah, so right now it's mainly focused on those general skills. Right now we are currently looking at expanding into more class-focused stuff, but that is still on the table to be drafted. Yeah, they work one-on-one -on -one with people and everything too, but they, the, the, the main focus of most of the academies is just to teach the basics. Teach you how to shoot straight and how not to die instantly. Yep. Okay, uh, next question is from the Blood Burrito. Uh, who do I DM for the Construction Academy? Me. Tell Tayashi's back. I'm the, the mover and shaker. And Tayashi's not back for two days. So if you want into any of these Academy teams, people, you have to DM me. And you also have to be a member. Well, no. No, never mind. Just, you just have to DM me. Uh, Crafty Smithy says, I have a question about the Rebel Alliance event. Are we teaming up with an NC outfit for that time? Uh, that was a Mike event. Uh, he told me a bit about it. I think it was just literally just open to whoever was around. They just wanted to, they just wanted to jump into blue and just play for a little while. And I think he said, uh, he had two squads for the event. It was just a bit of fun. You know how, like, VCO does their Trader Tuesdays or whatever. It's just, uh, uh, it was just... Just for fun, I don't think it was in coordination with any specific outfit. If there was other outfits at play, it was. I'm thinking. I think it was just accidental. Someone wants to speak. I'm guessing it's probably Mike. Yep. Here you go. Yeah. So with regards to the event we held today, um, it was just something I threw together. I was off on a Sunday, which is rare, and um, there wasn't any real coordination with another outfit. I did try initially to see if about maybe having SKL and ORX work together on, in this event. ORX declined because they had some competitive event going on. Um, but Pride from WSC had logged on and a couple members joined up with us and then a bunch of random NC outfits joined us. We had about six or eight SKL guys uh, working with us, and then 2RAF was an NC command, which was very interesting, and I think Communist, who's in the audience, was also an NC command playing NC, so um, it was fun. It was a fun event. Had a blast. Uh, it was only two squads, but anyone that wants to hear more about it, I can talk to you later in the Discord. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, Never the Boom says, the HK scrims today, what medium are they using for comms? I have no idea. Is Rage in chat? Uh, it's not HK Scrims. That is Infantry Academy Scrims. Okay, I was going to say, I didn't think, I, didn't, I thought HK was doing their Scrims with Prey, so he would know about it. Uh, yeah. Discord, yeah. 
Yeah, so I yeah, IA yeah, Infantry Academy scrims are today. No, you're not, lols. Yeah, just just bear in mind that infantry academy scrims are are being done for training purposes. <laughs> I'd like to point out that lols is a trainer for prey, or yeah. at one point was. I'm not I'm not making any assumptions. I'm just covering any holes. <laughs> yeah, anyone can join the infantry academy scrims, especially people from prey. Or people that sign up for the infantry. Okay. Yeah, right. we are doing it on Jaeger, aren't we, Poncho? So we have yeah. a limited number of accounts. Right now we've got six accounts only. Turnout was a little low, so I requested on the lower side. We've got, I think, uh, six or so IA people and a handful of Prey people. So, I mean, if you've got a named account, you're welcome to join. Sokar has not resurfaced lately. I miss that. He is not around. We do not expect him to. Yeah, he he just kind of appears whenever he feels like it. Yeah, he'll he'll show up sometimes. I think I, I think I think he let a scythe ball in in April, and that's the last I heard of him. All right. Any other questions or comments? Anyone wants to come up and speak? Otherwise, I'll free up everyone for primetime play. Several people talking. Your motion has been denied, Lulz. We can't keep them in stock anyways. <laughs> Not with all the donors. Oh yeah, yeah. For anyone who's uh, wanting to use Colossus or Bastions or anything in the near future, once we get the extra life stuff set up, like, don't expect unless you donate it for extra life, don't expect to get a Colossus or a, a Bastion for a while because we have a lot of them queued up. All right, I think that's about it, everyone. Thank you all for attending this con or for this uh, town hall. The ne remember that the next one will be on the second of January to kind of give time for Christmas and New Year's to be over. So second of January will be the next town hall that's happening. Content smash ends on the twenty sixth of December, and let's free up everyone to start getting in game and getting some platoon set up. Thank you all for coming, and uh, remember if you see Uber on online anywhere, send them some best wishes. He's having a rough month with all, all the work and school. <laughs> well, Hitter, it was recorded, but if you have any questions, I'll, I'll linger around. All right, folks, y'all get out of here. Get get in game and enjoy yourselves or go out and enjoy yourselves somewhere else, but you're not required to be here any longer. Bye-bye. I'm a cheeseburger person, never. There you go. So someone going to click the button? Uh, Yeah, I was letting people organically go, but I will force them out once I figure out. I always forget. Someone end this. End